Yeah. Here it is. The chili oil. Except I can't remember a time where you have ever been spicy. It wasn't spicy at the start. It wasn't spicy in the middle and it is definitely not spicy now. And you've been sitting there for a bloody long time. The colors managed to bleed out so we've got a little bit of that ready goodness but those are meant to be some hot chili flakes. You see, I think we can do better than this. I don't think we have to wait. This episode of Eat is for people who are lacking one of the key ingredients in cooking, and that's patience. Which is just like me sometimes. We're going to turbocharge these oils. The fundamentals of flavor. Fat. It's not going to know what hit it. This is kinetic energy, heat, and time. It looks like eat, but it's not. It's the part before that. Now, part of the problem here is that simply by taking some herbs, dumping them in the oil, and letting them infuse for a day, you're not quite getting the maximum effect. And to be honest, the patience in my house for waiting for that sort of thing just isn't there. It's just, it's just gonna start getting used. So I'm gonna expedite the process. I'm gonna do that using my delightful little magnetic hot plate stirrer. It's done a lot for us in the past and it's gonna continue doing a lot for us. So I've decided that magnetic hot plate stirrer is a bit of a long, clunky, and impersonal name. It's our friend. So I'm calling him Kenny. Kenny's a good, reliable name and should be good and reliable for us in the future. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna allow us to get a very, very precise temperature get things stirring, agitate the herbs and spices that I'm choosing to make my oils. And hopefully get the process done in a matter of hours as opposed to days. So the spices that we've chosen and the herbs that we've chosen are, we've got chili, we've got rosemary, thyme, and juniper. Now these are all gonna respond really differently to heat. I don't want to break them down too much. I'm only aiming to extract the natural flavor. I'm not trying to caramelize anything. I'm not trying to change its state in any way. I want all of its flavor in my oil. So the oil I've chosen as my base is grapeseed oil. It's nice and uh, neutral. It doesn't really, well, to me at least, doesn't really have flavor, which is ideal. The temperatures I've chosen here are going to be around 55 degrees Celsius, about 65 degrees Celsius, it's a bit more robust. Somewhere in between the two, around 60 degrees Celsius, I'll be doing the thyme, and then the juniper. Juniper's an unknown. It's very hard, it's very woody. So I'm gonna be increasing the temperature quite dramatically on that. Bearing in mind that Kenny's uh, rated heat is 99 degrees Celsius. So oil's got the capability of going much higher than that, so we've got to keep that in check because I don't want to hurt them. So what I'll be doing is I'll be chopping up each of these, then they're going to go in with an equal amount of oil. So we're going to use this whole bottle, and we'll be checking it, maybe every hour. But I've only got one Kenny, so this may take a while. So bear with me. All right, let's get cracking. As you can see, Kenny's doing his work on the chili oil. The oil's become slightly cloudy, so I'm assuming that sort of uh, a bit of the juice is already starting to seep out of the chopped chilies. It's currently sitting at only 20 degrees Celsius, so it's just a tiny bit above uh, room temperature, but I expect that to slowly increase and get to our target temperature of around 50 degrees Celsius. All right, it's time time. It's 
So the rosemary's been on for about an hour now. It's shrunk. The particles have chopped a bit like shrunk significantly and the color of the oils take on a beautiful earthy green hue. The smell is absolutely intense. And I think once a bit of salt gets onto this, it's gonna be insane. But we'll give it a little little taste just now. Just dip the spoon in. It's fragrant. It's incredibly fragrant. It can almost taste it in your nose more than you can taste it on your tongue. But again, I think the salt's gonna be a massive accent for that. If we think of the plate as the stage for the food, today we want the oils to be the star of the show. And I think by putting a big lump of meat on the plate, tender venison, which was my original plan, I think we'd be losing out on something. The oils would become a sort of supporting cast. So what we're going to do instead, I think, is we're going to make a hummus. Really basic. It's just going to be there, ready to be accented. And on top of that, we'll have some uh, crispy beluga lentils, just gently fried in some oil with some smoked salt and a little bit of pepper. And then we can do a combination of all the oils that we've got, all four of them. Give them all a go on the same plate. So once these are done, we'll crack on with that. First of all, they're gonna to need to be filtered out because I want them to be just the oil. We, we don't want it to be muddied by old sort of uh, bits of time that are long past where they're meant to be. We're getting the extraction done now. We're getting the flavor done right now. So hurry up and wait, I guess. Juniper, intense, sweet, earthy, peppery. It's absolutely fantastic. The rosemary is on more on the delicate side. It's earthy, grassy sort of flavor with little sweet notes in behind it. It's amazing what you can do when you just extract the pure flavor from something. Thyme, floral, absolutely floral and delicate and light. It's gonna go incredibly well with a wide variety of things. And then we've got the chili oil. And that has got some serious attitude. Basically what I've done here is I've tried to go for a uh, fairly neutral hummus, very, very low in salt. And then I've gone and uh, put a bit of uh, sweet beetroot in there and uh, some lemon to give it a sort of a tang. A bit of raw garlic gives it a little bit of attitude. And then plated it up and then laid the uh, oils, each one into each of the cavities here. So other than that, we've got the uh, lentils and the lentils are just really really simple fried with a bit of white pepper smoked salt and some onion comes out really delicious the beluga lentils are quite meaty then we've got some sprouted lentils which i picked up from the shop down the road 
And then finally we've got a little bit of salad and some uh, floral accents from the flowers. Accent with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we're away. So we'll give this a go. That's the chili. Ooh Attitude with a capital A. Oh damn, that's good. And then we've got... Mm, that's the time. <laughs> that one's damn delicious. It's funny, I started on the chili and then you work your way through and the chili blends into the thyme, hoping I'm getting the same effect with the uh, rosemary, just another little layer. So I'll give the rosemary one a go. Definitely rosemary. <laughs> it's amazing how well they stick out. It's incredible. I can see these going on meats and all sorts of different things just as like a little accent just before serving it works perfectly now the one that i'm most interested in is the juniper it's so sweet i didn't expect it to be so sweet but sweet peppery oh that's a fantastic accent that would work amazingly well with uh with any sort of red meat. This is the sort of thing that you could easily do on a stove top. You don't need a Kenny to do it. You just gotta make sure you keep your temperatures under control. Not so much with the gym, you can let that run wild a little bit. Just a nice low heat, a gentle simmer, and you'll get some results. And I think if I'd pushed longer with the chili, would have even more attitude, because it's quite, It's, 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 it's quite sweet for what it is. I think it's extracted quite a bit of the, extracted quite a bit of the, the heat from it, <laughs> but also quite a lot of the sweetness. Okay, I think that's my cue. <coughs> if you like that content, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, it's just below. And have a good time. Oh. <coughs> Jesus.